Welcome to this Franklin Public Schools PowerSchool screencast. This screencast is all about how students can use PowerSchool to check their grades online. To get to the exact address to log into PowerSchool, you can type this into your web browser, http colon slash slash ps dot franklin dot k12.wi.us. Uh, if you don't go in that way, you can go in from our district web page. You pull up the district web page, at the top there is a menu and one of those menu choices is PowerSchool. When you mouse over PowerSchool, the first choice below it says Login for Parents and Students. You can click on that and that will take you to this login screen. For students to log in, your login username is the letter S for student followed by your six digit ID number. This will never change the whole time you're in the Franklin School District, so your username will always be the same. Your password will also always be the same. Your password will be four randomly assigned numbers. These were sent home in a letter when we first went online with PowerSchool a few years ago, so if you checked your grades online last year, it's the same number. Uh, you can check with your parents to see if they still have a copy of that letter. If they don't, you can check uh, at your school with one of the building secretaries and they can look up what your password is. So here I am logged into an account. Uh, let's talk about how this is set up. At the top is the navigation area. So these are all different pages in PowerSchool. We'll go through those in a minute. The PowerSchool logo, no matter where you navigate to in the site, you can always click on the PowerSchool logo and it'll bring you right back here to the grades and attendance to the start area. Looking at the grades and attendance page first, when we look, we see that this is the two most recent weeks of school and this shows your attendance. So for this student, uh, it looks like last Wednesday the student was out ill. If there is any kind of absence, there will be a letter code in the box, and those letter codes match up down here at the bottom on the legend. So it tells you why the student missed class. Uh, here it says that the student had an unexcused tardy. Uh, so for whatever reason, that student was late there. And if you notice, some classes, depending on what grade level you're at, they may have a dot in the box. If there's a dot in the box, that means that that is a day that that class does not meet. Some classes are every other day, so those dots hold that place. Over here you can see the different course listings. It lists the course as well as the teacher. Uh, if you are at home, you can click on the link for the teacher and that should launch your email at home. If you try to click on this at school, that will not work. We don't have email set up on the school computers for students. There is also a little tiny PowerSchool icon located next to the teacher's name. When you click on that, it brings up the teacher's name as well as the teacher's address. So if you needed to copy and paste your teacher's address into your email, you could highlight this, copy and paste into whatever email you choose to use. So those are the class listings. Here next you see the different uh, terms. We're in quarter one right now and it shows for this student what their current grades are for their courses. We'll go into that in a second. Here are the absences. It says when a student missed a particular class and the tardies and it also says when a student missed a particular class. In PowerSchool you can click on anything that is blue that will take you to a page with some more information. So if we look at this and we go into this student's class by clicking on the grade it takes us in so we can see the class score detail page. Now on this page there's a bunch of information. There's the name of the class, there is the teacher, the period or the class hour that it meets, and the final grade. It says final grade, but really this is just the current grade that fact is factoring in all these assignments down here. Uh, it's only really final at the end of the term. Teachers will have a section description here. This says information about the class. It might say how they grade or what their grading policies are or late work collection, uh, collection policies are. And then down here are the actual assignments. This is the due date for each assignment. This is the category that the assignment falls into. This is the actual assignment, and this is a new feature in PowerSchool. They have codes, and there's a key for these codes down here at the bottom. So for this particular student, this assignment is marked as an M, which means that it's missing. And we can also see that it's missing because it has a zero, so the student has not turned this in yet. Uh, there are two assignments that are labeled missing right now. Here is the score for the assignments, here is the percentage, and here is the letter grade. Now, like we said, anything is that is blue can be clicked on for more information. So if I wanted to see what this assignment was that's missing, I can click on the assignment name and the teacher has entered here in the description. It says the students had to review podcasts selected for class in class. So it probably was a worksheet that that student did not turn in. A new feature as well in the score area. If the score is colored blue or underlined, you can click on it and you can see some information about that assignment, a comment that was left in particular for that student. So here it says uh, the comment, the student did not turn in the assignment in class, please still turn it in. 
So that will give some more information about particular assignments. On most of the pages, there is a print page feature on the bottom right hand side. You can click that and that'll print out a nice printout of the grade. So if you have to print that out at home, you can do that. So that pretty much is the class score detail page. And that was all stemming from the grades and attendance. Grades history, if you go to grades history, you won't see anything yet if, we're, if you're early in the school year. This shows the previous term, so it'll show quarter one, quarter two, only for the current school year. If you go into attendance history, this shows attendance back further uh, than just the two weeks on the first page. Attendance history here will show all the way back to the beginning of that term. Teacher comments, once report cards are done, teachers can leave comments on the report card. Those would fill in here, so you could see those online. And these last three pages we're currently not using. School Bulletin, Class Registration, and the My Calendars page. So let's go back by clicking on the PowerSchool logo to the Start page. One other thing to mention, uh, when you are looking at a particular class, if we go back into that class that we were looking at earlier, at the bottom of each class it says when the teacher last updated those grades. So these grades were last updated on 916. So that's one thing you always want to check if you're waiting for teachers to put assignments in. You do want to check that. Please do know though that teachers have two weeks to put an assignment in after it is collected. So uh, if you turn an assignment in today, it should be online within two weeks. Uh, so please do be patient with that or you can check with your teacher if you have questions. That is pretty much it. The last thing I will show you is if you, whenever you use PowerSchool, whether you're at school or at home, you want to get in the habit of clicking this log out button up here on the top right. Don't just close the window. Uh, if you do just close the window, the next person who uses the computer could technically get into your account. So do make sure you click on log out and that will close out your session. Thank you so much for watching this. We hope you enjoy using PowerSchool and we will uh, get more information out if we need to. Thanks.